Hi, James here. Now, some of you are probably thinking, wow, he's done a video finally. I know a lot of you have been wondering why I haven't done any videos lately, and the reason why is because I've been so busy lately. I've been working like mad, and I haven't had a chance to do anything, let alone, you know, make videos on YouTube. And also, I haven't had time to reply to any emails or anything, so they're all mounted up again, so uh, I'm going to have to go through a lot of emails as well. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do a video now. Now, this video is kind of a... A uh, continuation of a video I did a while back uh, about not mixing up the slot types AGP and AGP8 graphics cards. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it as a video response below. Um, now, obviously, I missed something out in that video. I didn't go far enough into depth with one thing, and the reason being is because I only had 10 minutes in the video, so I had to try and squeeze everything into one video. So, I'm going to elaborate on that one thing in this video. Now I've been getting tons of emails, people asking how do you tell the difference between an AGP, an AGP4 and an AGP8. Um, I'll show you now in this video and it's actually really easy but you can't tell by physically looking at the slot. The only thing you can tell by looking at the slot itself is the voltage of the slot which is the most important thing. Um, this is probably something I should have explained in the other video. It's not the different type of AGP card that will ruin your slot or ruin the card, it's actually the putting the wrong voltage in the slot and there's a few comments people say no it doesn't do that, it doesn't wreck it like that, believe me it does, if you mix the wrong voltage in the wrong slot it does. Um, so you need to tell the difference between each type of slot, so here's how you can tell the difference. Well now if you look directly down at the slot and have the computer or the motherboard so that the back of it, the bit where you plug everything in, is facing your left. Now if you look down at the slot, now if it's a 3.3 volt slot, you should have 21 pins before the little spacer key. Now if it's a 1.5 volt slot, then it'll have 41 pins before the little spacer key. Now if yours doesn't have a spacer key at all, and it looks like this, now these are actually really hard to tell because a lot of people assume that these are universal slots but only the ones marked as a universal slot is a universal slot. Uh, half of them actually aren't. So if it's actually marked above the port what the voltage is it will tell you on there what it is obviously. Now if it's not marked or it has no markings at all then just assume it's a 1.5 volt slot. Now if you look at all the slots together you can see the difference between them. So you can see now what you've got to look out for. Now that's how you determine the voltage of the slot. Now if you want to tell um, the bus speed of the slot, whether it's AGP, uh, AGP 1, 2, 4 or 8x, then you have to actually look on the computer. You can't tell by physically looking at the slot itself. So we're going to go onto my office computer now because it's the only one in the house that's old enough to show you what I mean with this. Right now I'm on one of my older computers now because it's the only computer I've got in the house that's actually old enough to have an AGP slot. So um, I'll show you on this one. Now first of all, what you want to do is just open up a web browser, whatever one you use, Firefox, blah, whatever, doesn't matter. And then when that loads up, and I've got my home page which is YouTube. Oh, I'm fed up with seeing that fat woman on a treadmill video. Uh, anyway, so the website you want to go to is called cpuid.com and I'll put a link in the description. Right now, the program you want, or rather the little utility thing you want, is called cpu-z, which is here. So if you just click on that, uh, and then here it says you can download the latest version. Now, I personally go for the zip file. I don't know why. You can download either one, doesn't matter. And then just save it, which I think it will just go straight on the desktop. And it it's only like a couple of hundred kilobyte files, so it should take like minutes to download. Right, so once you've got a zip file, load it up. And if you're like me and you've got a free version of WinRAR, it's going to come up with that annoying message. And then just double click on the little executable and it will get this. As you don't even have to install this, it's not like a proper program, it's just a little utility. Um, when that loads up, you should get a little box come up. There we go, so when it loads up you get this little box. 
Uh, now at the top here you've got a few tabs. Now the one you want is called Main Board, so click on that. Right now down the bottom here you've got Graphics Interface, you've got Version, AGP Version 3, uh, Transfer Rate X8, uh, sorry 8X, so there you go, it's uh, an AGP 8X slot. So that will tell you what and tell you the maximum that's supported 8x. So there you go. That's how you find out whether it's a stand. If it was an AGP 4, it'd be 4x or 2x or 1x or just AGP. It wouldn't have any numbers in here. So there you go. That's how you can get all the information out. Now, to be fair though, the 3.3 volt slots are completely obsolete now. You just you don't see them anymore, and it's very unlikely that you actually see an AGP slot altogether, let alone a 3.3 volt one, but the, the older one, the 3.3 volt one, um, they were really old computers like before 2000, so if you've got a computer that's that old, this will apply to you, and you'd be surprised how many people are still using really ancient computers. Um, so if you've got one of those slots, then you're actually going to find it really difficult to get a graphics card that actually works with that slot, because all the cards now are tuned to work with 1.5 volts, so you could have to either search on eBay or try and look through car boot sales and stuff to find cards for that slot. Now, if you've got a 1.5 volt slot though, then and it's an AGP8, then you're not going to have trouble finding a card for it at all. Just search around eBay, search around the net, go in your local computer shops. I'm sure a lot of computer shops still do stock up in the old AGP cards, you'd be surprised. Now the reason why you don't see many AGP cards and slots around anymore is because they're becoming obsolete. Uh, they're being taken over by a PCI Express, which looks like this. That's a PCI Express or a PCI E slot. And if you've got one of those inside your computer, then you're set, really, because there's literally an endless range of graphics cards you can get for that slot. Um, just make sure that you get one that's uh, the correct speed for that slot. Now, it won't damage like it will in an AGP slot, it just won't work. So you make sure you get it 8x or 16x or I think 32x they've got now. So just make sure you match one up with the right speed. Otherwise, it won't do any damage, but it just won't work as well. So there you go. I hope this video has been a help, and I'll try and put videos on more regularly than I have been doing. It's just like I say, now I'm quite lucky because I'm working locally today and I've managed to come home on my lunch break and I've only got about 20 minutes left of my lunch break so uh, I thought I'd do a video in this time so there you go now if you've sent me emails you're going to have to try and be patient on that because again they mounted up again so I'm going to go through as many as I can and uh, reply to as many as I can but you'll have to be patient and bear with me so there you go I hope this video has been a help thank you for watching nice one